Hello. I've completely forgotten. See, I can't even talk now. Hello. I've completely forgotten what I'm doing and how to do this. So I've ridden all the way to Cheddar with Kev and I haven't said a word yet. But we are just about to go out the gorge. We've got a big headwind, but the sun is out. We've had a period of horrible weather through January and December, really, of rain and ice. This is my first ride of 2023 that's not on Zwift. And I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> right, the gorge. Oh, I spent all winter worrying about my mental health when really my physical health is way worse. So I've plotted an ambitious 114k today, but the main goal is to get Kev dropped off in Radstock for 12.30, 12.30, 30 he'd be an hour late if I got in there for 12.30. <laughs> so he's late, Rach, that's my fault. But I have got an option to bail after uh, Kilmerston, which might take about 82k, so we'll see how I'm feeling. At a minute, I'm feeling surprisingly good, apart from that exit up the gorge. But then again, it's always quite hard up the gorge. But this is my first ride out for two months and my first ride on a road bike since I did the golden cap, which I can't even remember when that was. This is pretty. But I've got a little surprise coming up for Kev. But Kev knows me too well and he'd already spotted it on the route, but we've got a bit of gravel coming up through a forest. I'm hoping it's as good as it says on Kamut. Otherwise, uh, we might just be late for H. <laughs> I walked to Mystic, we're gonna make it in time, Kev. Yeah, we're we'll fine. We've we got an hour. Yeah, well, we've got uh, that little bit of gravel, the unknown. Hope it's not a hiker bike. <laughs> it could be. It could be. No, the highlight says prime perfect gravel. What can go wrong? How's your luck, Kev? How's my luck? Yeah. Uh, we went, you've only done four, was it four rides outside this year now? And they've all been in the last week. Yeah, pretty much. In a bit. So your fitness is with fitness like me then. So you just had to eat something, I haven't got to that stage yet. I did 60k yesterday afternoon. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> oh well, so far Kev, it's just a typical Somerset road. <laughs> full of potholes, full of rubbish, no gravel. All right, that's it. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh. That's nah, not too bad. That's nice. Have to 
gravel bike, you get a new flight. Yeah. It's worse commute roads than this. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's your road, isn't it? Well, that's worse than this. Well, with all the potholes and all the mud, yeah. This is the best bit. Uh, I got left. There's a right as well. Options. Definitely taking you on worse roads than that, Kevin. <laughs> oh yeah, that was quite good actually. I, was, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's quite pretty through the the forest there. That's been our gravel road we did a few months back on these bikes. That's yeah, been it's been a mint. Long. Yeah, Farrington Gurney, you know. Yeah. And then uh, drop you off. I reckon we'll be on time now. Now that's gone to plan. To plan. I think. Not, I'm quite priority. happy. <laughs> Oh, well done, Kev. Thanks for that. Thanks for your company. That's all right. I enjoyed Sorry that I little adventure. Yeah. Sorry I can't see you to the end, but... Delivered you on time? Yeah. I've now got a debate as to whether I go get myself a coffee and turn back or... Well, was that one open back there? On the corner? The door was open. I don't know if there's anybody in there. No. But, uh, yeah. The subway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quick pit stop in the subway. It's Costa Express. But yeah, enjoy your Sunday dinner. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and uh, let me know if you're out again. Yeah, see you again soon. All right, so I've opted against coffee and cake, and I've got myself under the Collier's way. Uh, get myself to kill myself, and then I'm going to make a decision whether to swing back or whether to carry on. I mean, I can't really afford to eat too much cake, because I put on about 5k over the winter. I never knew beards were that heavy, to be honest. I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy the peace of my heart and soul Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow As much as I'd love to say I could do 114k off the bat Having not ridden for a while But I think the sensible thing is to turn back Plus I've had a better offer My wife has offered to uh, have lunch with me at Middlewick Just on the outskirts of Glastonbury So I'm heading back there for a bit of lunch is all gone Wait, hold on Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling Well I can honestly gone. say I made the right decision 80k was about enough for my little legs today uh, Literally as soon as I got to the cafe I faded and I def definitely needed some refreshments <laughs> It's great to be back out on the bike Great to see some sunshine as well Hopefully that will be back at it now weather permitting, um, keep my motivation up, keep riding my bike. It's great to catch up with Kev today. Uh, we did a lot of chatting, not so much filming. <laughs> I've forgotten that I was <laughs> about making a vlog. So rusty, so rusty indeed. But anyway, great to see you Kev. Uh, hopefully catch up with you again soon. Uh, plans for 2023, I don't know. I really don't know. I've, I, I was thinking of doing the dragon ride. Um, the whole entry process confused me so I might do a big ride in Wales at some point 
Um, I've got the van now, so I'm planning on a few away days, van adventures, a uh, bit of camping in the van, bit of bike packing, bit of mountain bike, you name it. I'm going to be doing lots of exploring on my bike, probably in this country and a couple of trips abroad, hopefully. But yeah, really excited to be making a video again. Hope you enjoy it. I hope I haven't completely balls it up. It's been a while. <laughs> and be kind with the beard. We will see you in the next video, which hopefully won't be too far away.